Missile defense has been the most divisive issue in NATO-Russia relations. To what extent does future progress in NATO-Russia cooperation on missile defense depend on bilateral U.S.-Russia relations? I would say that uh, missile defense has indeed, has indeed been one of the most contentious issues both in the bilateral U.S.-Russian relationship and in the NATO-Russia relationship, and the two tracks are inevitably related to one another. The Russians to this day continue to see NATO's efforts to protect itself against the threat of ballistic missile attack from the Middle East and other areas outside of Europe as being directed against Russia and as being aimed at undermining Russia's strategic deterrent, which is part of the uh, balance of, of terror that still exists between the United States and Russia. Uh, in fact, if you look at the, the geography, at the numbers, and at the physics of where NATO's future missile defenses will be deployed, uh, you can see that there's absolutely no basis to the Russian analysis. Uh, the systems that NATO will be deploying, both on ships in the Mediterranean, at land-based sites in Romania and in Poland, simply do not have the technical, technical capacity to uh, shoot down Russian intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at the United States. So the balance of deterrence is still very much in place, and the United States knows that it simply is technologically impossible to defend against the very large and sophisticated Russian strategic arsenal. But countries that are proliferating ballistic missiles, like Iran, like Syria, may not have as sophisticated uh, technology as Russia, but they now have increasing capacity to reach European territory, and it's only responsible for the NATO allies to protect themselves, and that's what they decided to do at the Lisbon summit in uh, 2010. But at Lisbon, we also decided that we should cooperate with Russia on missile defense, and we've offered a very forthcoming plan that would enable NATO and Russia to fuse all their radar and sensor data, to plan together for combined missile defense operations. In short, to collaborate to better protect the territory of, of NATO and of Russia through uh, joining together our two systems. Uh, moreover, by participating in such a system, Russia would gain much more transparency about the technical capacities of our system, and, and they would see from the inside, with their own eyes, that it does not pose a threat to Russia. The U.S.-Russia bilateral negotiations on missile defense may indeed be the key to overcoming Russian uh, suspicions. Those talks have re-intensified since the recent visit by the U.S. National Security Advisor to Moscow, uh, carrying a letter from President Obama. That letter offered even more forms of transparency, uh, f elaborating on initiatives taken by NATO at the Chicago summit last year. So hopefully if there's progress on the U.S.-Russia track, the NATO-Russia track will, uh, will pick up speed. And I'm still hopeful that we can uh, achieve an agreement on missile defense cooperation in the not-too-distant future, which would really be a game-changer in NATO-Russian relations. Mm -hmm.